the childishly naive, friendly appearance of this little car immediately sets you in a positive mood. But won't a used Citroen C2 spoil the impression during long-term communication? The little Citroen C2 is a relative of the Peugeot 207. Both of these models of the PSA concern are built on the same platform and use a number of common components and assemblies. At the same time, Citroen approached the construction of hatchbacks more creatively than Peugeot, whose three- and five-door versions differ only in the number of doors. At Citroen, these hatchbacks have an individual design and are positioned as different models, C2, a three-door hatchback and C3, a five-door, although their technical stuffing and many interior elements are similar. C3 is aimed at family motorists, especially women, and our current object of study is at young people, who can attract the attention of the friendly appearance of conventional C2 and emphasize dynamic, in the, hot, version of the BTR, as well as a number of unusual solutions, closed radiator grille pedals, versions before modernization in 2008, an underestimated line of rear side windows, visually dividing the car into two parts, and a double leaf trunk lid, like on some SUVs. In the cabin, the originality of the design is emphasized by the two-tone, depending on the body color, trim of the seats and door cards, and an unusual instrument panel. In general, there are no complaints about the quality of workmanship and reliability of the equipment. You can criticize a little only visibility. Despite its small size, C2 has a good passive safety. It has four stars out of the maximum five according to the results of the 2003 Euro and CAP crash tests. There are no claims to the corrosion resistance of the model, as well as to the condition of the body parts. The interior of the model is also originally designed. The most noticeable detail is the two-tone trim on the seats and door cards, which, depending on the color of the body, can be gray, orange, blue and green in combination with black. The instrument panel is also unusual. The speedometer is electronic, and the tachometer is pointed. The plastic trim is firm but not squeaky. In our market, VTR versions are quite common, which, in addition to their dynamic appearance, are also distinguished by good equipment. In addition to the already familiar options, power windows and exterior mirrors, heating of the ladder, central locking, immobilizer, airbags, etc., they also have climate control and rain and light sensors unusual for B-Class models. According to operating experience, all equipment works reliably. The only part that can create problems is the electric drive for controlling the airflow redistribution dampers, C, weaknesses. Unlike many three-door hatchbacks, which, like five-door hatchbacks, offer five seats, the C2 is a four-seater. Two separate seats are installed on its gallery, which, like the front ones, have pronounced side support rollers. The rear seats have a sliding design, they slide forward slash backward, providing, depending on the situation, more legroom or luggage which is very important in such a small car. Although in the gallery tall passengers will still be uncomfortable even with the seats as far back as possible. By the way, the lowered line of the rear side windows, in addition to the decorative effect, provides better visibility for those who sit in the second row. But the driver's field of view during lateral maneuvers is slightly limited by the body pillars carried forward. In winter, in cold weather, the electric drive for controlling the dampers for the redistribution of air flows may fail accompanied by a characteristic crack in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B stone. Officially, we sold only C2 gasoline modifications, and diesel versions imported by domestic distillers can be literally counted on the fingers of one hand. Most gasoline C2S are equipped with a 1.4-liter engine, which was installed on all versions, including the hot VTRs. The appearance of the latter did not go well with the mediocre dynamics provided by the 1.4-liter unit. 12 to 14 seconds to hundreds, depending on the type of gearbox and 8V or 16V engine. At the same time, in Europe, a larger unit was installed on these versions, 1.6 liters, 110 horsepower, and on the most powerful version of the VTS, 1.6 liters, 127 horsepower. On our roads, C2 engines have proven themselves reliable. Minor malfunctions were identified only in 8 valve units of 1.4 liters. So, there were problems with the ignition coils, as indicated by the inscription check engine on the instrument panel. At the same time, the coil remains fully operational and, apart from the alarming inscription, does not bother anything, providing normal sparking. Another problem is the loss of tightness of the cylinder head cover gasket in its front part. Although mechanics say that strong oil leaks do not occur. B. 
there are no other problems in the C2 units. The timing of all motors is driven by a belt, which must be changed along with the rollers every 80,000 kilometers. Valve clearances in eight valve engines are theoretically adjustable, but the manufacturer does not set clear deadlines for this procedure, and in practice it is performed only when repairing the cylinder head. In 16 valve clearances are adjusted automatically using hydraulic compensators. The original solution in the design of the side of the car is a line of rear windows lowered in relation to the front ones, which visually divides the car into two halves. All C2S are front-wheel drive. They were equipped with mechanical gearboxes, one of which is conventional, and the second is robotic sensor drive. Robot, with electric drives for controlling the on-slash-off of the clutch and gear shifting. The control of this unit can be carried out both by the gear shift lever and by the steering column switches. In operation, the robot's sensor drive turned out to be problematic. The weak point is the clutch actuator control mechanism, which can fail. In principle, the actuator must be replaced, although our craftsmen have learned how to repair this unit. In addition, in the robots, the clutch itself does not differ in durability. Although the owners themselves are to blame for this malfunction, who burn it by holding the car in front of traffic lights uphill with the gas pedal. In this case, as a rule, you have to change the entire kit, disc, basket, and release bearing. In order not to have such problems, mechanics advise using the parking brake when stopping uphill. At the same time, the clutch is able to go out for about 100,000 kilometers. In both gearboxes, half-axle oil seals can leak for about 100,000 kilometers. Both units are considered maintenance-free, and the oil in them is designed for the entire period of operation. Due to a good weight distribution, small body overhangs, a down suspension and an informative steering, all C2S are endowed with excellent driving performance, and it's just as pleasant to drive them actively as on a map. Structurally, the suspension is quite simple, in front of McPherson, and in the back, a semi-independent beam. An important advantage of the chassis is high durability. More often when driving on our roads, you have to change the stabilizer struts, on average, every 50,000 kilometers. Its bushings are able to withstand a run of up to 150,000 kilometers ball bearings, and silent blocks of levers, about 100,000 kilometers. The elastic bands of the rear beam are generally considered eternal. Reduces the cost of repair running a separate replacement of most of the consumables. Steering C2 is equipped with electric power. The only thing that can upset is the appearance of squeaks when the steering wheel is rotated, which are treated with the usual lubrication of the engagement of the electric motor in the rack. Steering tips are able to go out for about 100,000 kilometers, and traction, even longer. There are no complaints about the brake system of the car, equipped with front ventilated disc mechanisms and rear drums.